Hello, I'm Milton Wallace, and I am your travel agent. If you're looking to see the world, have great adventures, if you like to golf and fish, I'm the man for you. I can set you up with those great adventures, and you can see the world and have a great time. London, Paris, Jamaica. How about New York or Chicago? If you'd like to see the United States or the world, I'm the man for you. If you'd like to own your own business and save money, I'm the man for you. If you'd like to shop across the country and also see all the different websites that are available for you, 700 of those, I'm the man for you. I'm Milton Wallace. I'm your travel agent. At Community Funeral Home, we feel it's an honor and privilege to serve the memorial needs of all of East Texas. Community Funeral Home offers a wide range of services designed to bring dignity and a personal touch to your loved one's remembrance. At Community Funeral Home, those needs can be met in unprecedented style and comfort because the cost of a funeral should not add to your grief. I'm Leroy Francis Sr. Let our family help your family in your time of need at Community Funeral Home of Tyler. William L. Dorsey, Certified Social Security Disability Representative. Have your Social Security benefits been denied? Call William L. Dorsey at 903-596-8499. No fees or costs unless you win free initial consultation. That's William Dorsey, 903-596-8499. Hello, East Texas. I'm Clarence Shackelford, the producer of Try God East Texas. I can be reached at 903-526-5327. And remember, when all else fail, Try God East Texas. Good morning. Welcome you to the broadcast of Living the Word Ministry, Enjoying Life, that is sponsored by the members and partners of Living the Word Ministry. We thank you for tuning in, for taking time out of your busy schedule to uh, watch the broadcast. And uh, we thank you for all your encouraging words and your prayers and your support. Life that is sponsored by the members and partners of Living the Word Ministry. We thank you for tuning in, for taking the time out of your busy schedule to uh, watch the broadcast, and uh, we thank you for all your encouraging words and your prayers and your support. Have your Bibles? All right. It's a great day. It's a great day to be a part of the kingdom of God. It's a great day. Amen. Great day. Turn with us to Ephesians. Ephesians. Thank God for you that are here. Best way to make your craft, your gift, your skill, whatever talent or ability that God has given you to, to make it effective is to practice it. I say that to all of us. The best way to make our gifts, our talents, abilities that God has given us effective is to practice using those things that God has given us. Amen. Ephesians 1. 
Bible speaks to us in verse number two. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings and heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 6. Praise the Lord. Amen. Ephesians 6. The Bible speaks to us. Verse 3, it's talking to the children. Verse 1, about honoring their parents, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Praise God. Long life. Today the Lord has asked and put on my heart that I speak with you concerning unclaimed, unclaimed blessings, unclaimed blessings. And uh, in order to claim something that's unclaimed, you, you got to have a commitment as well as a claim. And uh, being committed or commit means to give uh, in trust, uh, to give for safekeeping, commit, to entrust somebody with something. To pledge or to engage, you got to you got to commit to this that I'm going I'm going to claim my unclaimed blessing. Y'all in the room? To claim unclaimed blessings, you got to you you got to know what's yours. You got to make known. Uh, what is yours? You're going to have to open your mouth and tell, that's mine, and I, I claim my unclaimed blessing. Yeah. And the only way that you can get the unclaimed blessings of God, you got to know the word of God. You got to have a word from God. So, so to commit, I commit myself. I commit myself. I commit myself to claim the unclaimed blessing. Thank you. Now, if we're going to commit, we got to stand firm, right? We can't be shaken by what we see, by what they say, what's going on around. We got to stand firm on the word of God. Commit. All right? Now, when you claim something, you make a demand on it. Has anybody got something? You, you, anybody making a claim or a demand on something today? Uh, you, do you have, do you? Do you know of any unclaimed blessings? See, you, you, you can't know them if you don't know the word. Huh? But if you know of some unclaimed blessings, have you made a claim on them? Have you made a demand on what's rightfully yours? You got to listen. That belongs to me. You got to let people know. That belongs to me. It's mine. The state of the fact, the truth is, it's my blessing. Got my name on it. God said it's mine. The gift, the blessing, the blessing, the blessing. We need to make a claim on the unclaimed blessing. What is the blessing? The blessing is what? A divine favor? A, 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 a special benefit of God? Divine favor, special benefit of God. 
So as believers today, as believers, you know, we hear, we believe, uh, we must never uh, allow God's word to be devalued in our lives. The word of God is real, y'all. The word of God is real. It's alive. Turn, let me show you. Let me show you how real the word of God is. And, and a lot of people are devaluing the word, but we, we, in order to get our unclaimed blessing, we cannot allow the word to have no power. The word is powerful. Turn to Hebrews 12 or 4. Let me see. Hebrews 4. In order to claim our unclaimed blessing, we, we, got to, we got to do it in the power of the word of God. And many, of us, many people are living life outside of their, their blessing. God has already said it's theirs, but they're living life without the unclaimed blessing. And the word of God cannot be allowed to be devalued in your life. If you value the word of God, you're going to have to live it. You're going to have to sleep it. You're going to have to eat it. Oh, man. You're going to have to commit to the word of God Amen. to get your blessing. Your blessing is not going to automatically come. You're going to have to commit yourself to God's word in order to claim your unclaimed blessing. Hebrews 4 and 12 talks about that uh, for the word of God is what? Quick. There's nothing slow about the word. The word will work for you as soon as you put your faith to work. The word of God is quick and powerful. Something powerful uh, doesn't take much for it to work, does it? And if God's word is quick and powerful, all we got to do is put our faith in action. All right? The word of God is not just a, a collection of words is what I'm trying to tell you. These words carry weight. They carry power. The word of God is not just a collection of words that uh, we do our best to practice. No, 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 no. Your life needs to be directed by the word of God so you can claim your unclaimed blessing. Uh, yeah, I hear the Holy Spirit saying we got to know what our blessings are. All right, it said the word of God is powerful, sharper than any what? Two-edged sword doing what? Piercing even to the soul and soul. Oh, my, 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 my. Listen, the word of God is so precise. The word of God is so sharp. It's sharper than any knife you got in your kitchen. The word of God knows how to deal with your innermost thoughts. Wow. Your innermost thoughts and desires. It knows how to cut between your thoughts and your desires. Right. It's just that sharp. And the word of God even deal with the intent of the heart. Is your heart right? Your heart can keep you from your blessing, and your blessing will go unclaimed. God is what? The source of all our blessings. God is the source of all, every blessing, every good and perfect gift come from the Lord. He is the source of all of our blessings. Oh, no, no, no. It's not your job. It's not your education. It's a blessing to have a job. That's the blessing of the Lord. It's a blessing to to go to school and get your education. That's a blessed part of the blessing. Those things are not the blessing. They are a result of the blessing. Uh, God is the source of all of our blessings, right? 